Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And and you know what? We're hey, did I already? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take his horse. But yeah, you know what? Like I, I decided like we're we're just gonna freeze our balls off here and and just make a run for Iverstead. No more messing around with caves. Oh my gosh, though, that cold is coming in so quickly. But then, on the contrary, though, look how nice the snow looks. It, I was going to say, if you're, a war, uh, if you're a wolf, I do not have time for you. It, it is so cold. <gasps> oh. I thought that, that was like a bear. Or is it? Dude, what the... I am waiting for a good death. What? A good a good death? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malika. Why do you wish to die? My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Well, yeah, apparently, and you even battled a couple of... A couple of, uh, bears? Mountain lions? Um, saber tigers. You don't look that old to me. Certainly, you're still a strong, capable warrior. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are gray and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past General Tullius is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? Mm, perhaps I could give you the death you seek. Gosh, guys, I don't know. This feels like assisted suicide. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Ah, <sighs> I mean, if it's what you want, I will give you a good death. Hmm. We shall see. I know, yeah, like he's gonna fight me. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Fine. Okay, yeah, no. We, okay. Got, and what did I just say earlier? No more messing around. I am drained. I, yeah, I know I'm drained. Yeah. No more messing around. We're going to get to Iverstead. Ugh. But, yeah, this guy is, is, is surely still a very capable warrior. Good gracious. Uh, I kind of want to loot his saber tooth tigers, though. Saber cats. Silver ring, nice. Can I talk to him still, though? I am waiting for you. Yeah, good death. yeah. Yeah, but no. Why do you wish to die? Might. Malakath is given. As you can see, it is not yet arrived. Um. You are certainly a strong, capable warrior. Indeed. We are to cling to something past its usefulness. Uh, it seems seen. there's no way, there's no more so when talking you out of this. You should leave. I don't want you scaring off my good death. Oh, well, gee. Fine. If he's going to be rude like that, maybe I should slash his face. But no, we already know that that's not going to work. Iver said this way. <laughs> I don't know how close I am. I'm just I'm just following the trail and I still have my compass. Which is good though. I assume if I if I was to do a a one of these survival playthroughs like this anyway, I I assume I would probably have like a handheld compass, so I, I know I'm freezing. This is gonna ultimately kill me. Oh, okay. 
the, and, and the snow is gone. Oh, good. Am I like going blind? My my vision looks so weird. Okay, good. Oh yeah, I feel warmer now. I'm gonna save just in case if this is like bad things. An alchemist shack discovered. Oh, it's one of the butterflies in a jar. Fire salts. What is this? Okay. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seems to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize in the new potions. Outside the rich soil, outside the rich soil has allowed me has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into five bountiful plants. This afternoon I think I will journey out for more mushrooms as my current supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy work outside the shack. I find the midday air is a boon to my health as well as inspirational to my work. Interesting. I'll probably leave that. Okay, yeah. Frost salts and fire salts, yes. Yes, I will take the butterfly in a jar. That's an amazing extra little piece. Hagrave and feathers. Nah. Oh, yeah, and all the death bell plants. Okay. Okay, yeah, nope, nope. We said no more messing around. We're on our way to Iverstead. Where are we? Okay, yeah, good. So, yeah, we just got to start making our way left here. On around the mountain. Oh, good, and my health is coming back. I feel warmer, but still chilly. Yeah, good, because we are moving south in Skyrim. Yeah, I cannot... Oh. Yeah, I cannot wait to hit Riften. Lydia's got this. And then it'll be freezing again, but then I think we should... Oh, yeah, and, and we can take the carriage. But yeah, I think we should do Windhelm. And start another major quest. I see smoke. Is this it? Is this Iverstead? Oh, finally. Yeah. Get that 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 battle music away from me. Iverstead discovered. Amazing. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power. I love that little tune that just played. It plays whenever you walk into Riverwood. I didn't know it played when you also walked into Iverstead. Maybe... Maybe it plays when you walk into any new new town. Um. Oh yeah, we're we're probably well due for a level up. Or actually, no, maybe we're not. And you know, what, look, look, I'm actually not in that bad of a shape. In that bad of shape, I mean. Shoot, yeah, like well, well, I mean, I could eat, but that's really about it. Oh, but it's gonna get cold going up there. I feel warmer. I'm now comfortable. Good deal. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let's let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Let's get refreshed here. 
Ah, yeah, the air is warm in here. And the fire does not hurt me, so I'm going to just cook my bones here for a second. Okay. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Uh... Hmm? What do you want? Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? Klimic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. I think you should Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Well, Don't really know too much about them. I'm not very good, hmm. and it's only for the saint people. <sighs> Interesting. What a boring conversation. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Oh, I mean, like, it's 6 a.m. shame if you stopped. All right, Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. What's up? Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Uh, nah. A pleasant journey, my lord. Mm, mm, my lord. We don't get many. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel on the east side of town. It's haunted. Sure. Oh yeah, you got the barrel on the east side of town. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Left a bounty letter, okay. Yep, you, yep, I'm, I'm just picking up some side quests here. What can you tell me about the barrow? There ain't much more to tell. It's haunted. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I Ugh. swear it burned right through my soul. That sounds terrifying. Do the spirits haunt? Do the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I can investigate it for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Ghosty things are always fun. Uh, Where can I learn more about magic? Sir, I've got no interest in magic users. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold, and that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. There we go! Finally! I got the quest, visit the College of Winterhold. Jeez. The Greybeards are a solitary oh, lot. that's not what I asked. I don't think they've ever ventured out... We get the occasional pilgrim passing. I wanted to know, has anyone ever explored the barrow? About a year or two ago, some fella Windless. named Windelius came Windelius. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. Treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. That is freaky. We never saw him again. Well, sweet, that was a good chat. If you're headed up to the monastery, Watch your step. It's a long way down. We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're... Let's see that appetite, hmm? Yeah, give me your food. Uh... Twelve. Haunting brew mead. Sure, yeah, I'll buy just some food off of them. your eyes open in the barrel. That's how they get Bam. Them. I'm looking at my health. Is it going to replenish? You know what? Let's just go to sleep. Let's just go to sleep real quick. Need a room? Maybe it Yes. It's your thing. It's yours for a day. All right. I'll show you to your room. That right that's okay. I got way. it. If you're headed oh crap! No. Watch your step. Fine, my room's over here. Let me know if. Yeah, it's the morning though. I don't want to go up to High Hrothgar at night. I don't want to sleep for 24 hours though either. Let's just sleep for six hours. All right, here we go. Is anything else you need? Well rested, yay. Oh, and I'm not hungry either. So, me, okay, yeah. I guess I didn't eat. Nope, because I'm out, yo. Okay, yeah, at some point in time, we'll come back and we'll do. By the gods, it's true, oh. isn't it? 
A dragon has attacked White Fang. I thought that How that that the that the name on this sign was uh was the guy who went into that into that crypt thing over there. But yeah, I've only done that quest one time, and it was a long time ago. I forget what the story is behind that. Be behind that ghosty quest. Oh yeah, that's a. I think that's a quest where it's like, can you talk to my parents for me? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not <laughs> These certain. These two are just staring at me. The monastery. Perhaps one day. It seems like they're strong arming me. I wish me. I could make my delivery. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar. About to make a delivery up there myself. Center my screen here. Um. Uh. What types of mostly deliveries? food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh. For the Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Seems like they don't. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. <laughs> the trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the seven thousand steps takes its toll. I could do it for you. I'm on my way really? up. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Oh, there's a bear over there. Gosh, I hope that doesn't immediately cause me any trouble. Be careful up there. All right, here we go, guys. We're hiking up the 7,000 steps. But, yeah... <laughs> They both are staring at me like, so you're going to go up the 7,000 steps? No, I just can't do it anymore. Gee, I wish I could get the Greybeards their food. If only if this, maybe this guy we're staring at, he could do it for us. Before the birth of men, the, drag the dragons ruled all Mundus. All Mundus. All Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Emblem one. Yeah, I know it. If you get all of the emblems, you get like a perk. Oh, for crying out loud! Oops. Oh god, man, I leveled up. I already went to sleep. Oh my gosh! Don't do this to me. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I ever said this, but I'm on master difficulty. Uh, but I don't really want to turn down the difficulty, though. Alright, yeah. Um, blot out the land. Okay, yeah, let's let my stamina recharge here. Lydia's got this, right? Ooh. Strafe! Just like Call of Duty. Alright, so that was Emblem 1. Lydia, get the spider for me, please. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Just trying to climb the 7,000 steps. And my health is already not replenishing, and Lydia's not up here with me. Maybe we can wait an hour. I am not cold already. Oh my goodness gracious. What am I looking for? Yeah, I want this. Alright. Hey there, friend. Bark Noir. Oh, thanks. Did you hear the Do the Greybeard's called Dovakin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I 
wonder what it means. Is he wearing a hat? Or does he have very shiny blonde hair? What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Oh yeah, I can see that. Well, sweet. Uh, right then. All right then. All right, so this is emblem number two. Men were born and spread all over the face of Mundus. Dragons, the dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Here we go. Run, 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 run. Yeah, I, I am pretty sure on this journey you encounter a wolf and a and a saber cat. I swear you encounter a saber cat on this journey. The air is treacherously. Jeez! Oh my goodness! Run! Lydia's got this. But yeah, we definitely did encounter a saber cat. Oh, and I hear wolves. And it's an ice wolf. Uh, crap. Alright, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Soul captured. Nice. Huh. <sighs> So far, so good. Quick saving. Okay, yeah. Oh. Th this has to be a fast journey. Because or else I'm going to die. I'm, I'm still at the beginning. Okay, what do we have? Emblem 3. Uh, the fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times unafraid of war with dragons and their voices but dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts oh my gosh it's so cold that was emblem three right it better be or else i'm screwed but i guess i can always oh yeah so one thing i was really coming to terms with was I try to get them all on the first time up, because of course, on the, because of course, you normally only make this trip once, and then you fast travel anywhere, um, everywhere, but no people. We're going to have to make this journey at least one more time. <laughs> But hey, that is part, that is part of this experience. Go, go, go. So. I mean, I guess the, this could be where we find out what happens if I get too cold. Hello, friend. Keep it. Karita. Yes. Um, we don't have time to talk, hmm. guys. Emblem four, please. Yes. Kine called on Parthernax, who who pitied a man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then drag then dragon war raged. Dragon against tongue. Oh my gosh, it's so cold, it's so cold. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I was thinking before. Okay, yeah, I already know. There, there is an ice troll up here. Or a frost troll. Gosh, I don't want to wait, though. If I wait, I'm just going to get even more cold. 
No, he already sees me. Just, just go. Go, 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 go. Gosh, dang it. Boy, yeah, just like one, just one swipe. This is such a challenge. Oh, yeah, well, yeah I have like no health. See if we can sneak past him here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no way, dude. I think we can do this. Yes. Okay, good deal. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He's easy. Let's grab this emblem. Okay, um, man prevailed, shout, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manifold. Go, 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 go! Gosh, that was only number five. We're halfway there. Oh, but, yeah, I was thinking... This, this is going to be a long let's play. <laughs> I mean, yeah, shoot, this is, what is this? It, so, way back, I said, okay, guys, let's go to High Hrothgar. When did I say that? Like, four episodes ago? This is going to be so long. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, my gosh, and my health is half gone. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquered, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Okay, I'm gonna have to start using my stamina potions because I gotta keep running. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of stamina potions. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh. Now is not the time to test it, but I was wondering, is there a way that I could maybe use my own fire to warm me up? Here, let's test that out as we're running here. Nope, that's not doing anything. It's just cold. Oh my gosh, my health is getting so low. Oh my gosh, this is so dangerous. Oh my gosh, what if I get trapped up here? Well, okay, no, I'm, I, I, I can get down the mountain a lot faster than I can get up the mountain. Oh my gosh, guys, oh my goodness. My health is so low. I'm so scared. <gasps> no, here it is. We're here. We're here, guys. We're here. Okay, I'm going to get the last emblems later. Like, 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 let's just get inside. Okay, fine. Really quick. Okay, no. Okay, yeah, fine. We'll just grab those in a minute. Look at that. Even my view changed. Like, my eyes are frozen. Oh, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know, I know, I know, I know. We'll, we'll drop the supplies later. Come on. Oh boy. Holy crap. All right. Where's where's like fire? Yes, there we go, guys. There we go. Arngear, you come to me, man. So, a dragon oh, yeah, Christopher Plummer! At this moment, in the turning of the age. In the turning of the age. I am answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Demonstrate your unrelenting force. 
Yes. It is you. Yes, it is me. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Oh, just because you shouted and nearly exploded the town I was in. So I thought, huh, yeah, let's see what you guys are all about. I'm answering your summons for the second time of answering this. Master. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Ah, makes sense. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Progressively master stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance. Ro means time. balance. Alright guys, we are going to call this an episode right here, and in the next episode, we are going to continue with our training right here with the Greybeards, and then also finish doing whatever it is we all were doing outside before, um, before we literally nearly almost died. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I am Mr. Navens, and I'll see you in the next one.